anyway, what's going on? I uh, thought I'd do another stream tonight because uh, the first one felt eh, a little short. So I think what I'll do for a little bit here is I'm going to work on Titan, my Titan armor for a little bit. So, oh yeah, another thing, uh, stream times. Um, I'm going to update the schedule. should do that right now. My new schedule is as follows. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Or Monday, yeah, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I will be streaming from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern. Because I'm finding that streaming at 7, people just aren't in that mindset yet to sit and watch somebody do art. So... I'm going to try for later in the evening. That gives everybody a chance to eat their supper, spend a little bit of time with their families, and then they sit at their computer and look for something to watch on Twitch. Uh, Sundays are going to be 9 to 12 and 9 to 12. So a little later on Sundays. Um, and we'll see how this schedule works. Um, because, like I said, I don't think, uh, the timing of my streams is proper. Like, I don't think it's, it's optimal, I guess is the word. There we go. All updated. So those are the new stream times. So let's see how that goes. Uh, like I mentioned in uh, the earlier stream, um, loyalty points are active, so stay in my stream and chat um, or lurk. Because if you do, you're going to get loyalty points, and those loyalty points will go towards some pretty cool stuff. I did come up with a new idea, and I still need to do some research but I've seen one of the other streamers that I uh, watch all the time. He has a raffle and an auction system where you use your loyalty. And I think it would be better this way because not everybody can save up 10,000 loyalty points. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have raffles and auctions. And then the raffles would be like 10... 10 uh, polygons for, for a ticket and then you can have up to 10 tickets and you're put into a raffle, you get 10 entries and then I draw at the end of a time limit, I draw um, a winner and then that winner gets to do whatever the thing is, whether it's um, a custom character piece or a prop and other things. I'm going to add more and more things. Um, the program that I have to find, I seen him this other person use it i just need to find it um and if it costs something i'm gonna have to buy it because i think it's important uh because i think having this this system in place is going to allow people to be involved with the production of the game more it's going to give them something to look forward to uh yeah, so I think I think it would be I think it's great. Hey, Cabot! Yeah, you like it? Looks a lot nicer now, eh? See all my stuff. See City of Titans and or City of Villains. My diplomas up there, and then my Robotech models that I haven't put together. <laughs> um, 
Okay. All that being said, this is what I want to work on tonight. This is the Under Armour. Um, or the Giver. Um, just want to take some of this down a little bit because I have a feeling that when I go to bake this, it's going to be an issue. <sighs> Give me a minute. Just had to talk to my wife there for a second. Um, yeah, there was something else I wanted to say. Okay, I, I will do that, uh, Gavin. If you're in the stream. Um, okay. So. I'm wondering if I should make the boots part of the. Um, part of the Under Armour. That was my original intent. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this now. This won't take very long. Okay, so make sure. On the high poly. Okay. So we're making boots. Well, they really aren't boots. They're just they're just part of his armor. Um I wish I had a I have three monitors. I wish I had another one. Um, okay, let's try this. Um, yeah, I think this was the reason why I wasn't going to do it. Because of the toes. So I'm going to have to make boots. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Not a problem. Okay. So let's bake this sucker out. We're going to do Titan Under Armour HP. That'll take a minute. So yeah, I think I think the raffles and the auctions um, Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, dear. It's, I'm, I'm getting the bits, but the sound isn't coming through my headset for some reason. weird uh yeah the city of titans official discord server as far as i can turn as far as i know has like five thousand members and when my stream goes live um it gets pinged over there i don't see a single person from that server coming into my stream so either something's wrong there or people really are not interested in seeing how this game is being made. So we have to figure out a way 
to get their attention because they need to come into this stream because if they're in here for long enough, then they have a chance to get into the raffles and the auctions in order to have custom paces made for them. Heck, we could even do other stuff too for the game, like props and other stuff. So I think it's it'd be cool to have more people in this in this stream because it's I need to find that program. That's I'm gonna do that tomorrow in the uh, when I get up in the morning. That'd be my first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's done. Let's go over here. Oh, having two monitors sucks, but I love it. Okay, so let's fire up. I got way too many windows open. That's my problem. Open up Substance Painter. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm not getting my notifications from Streamlabs. It's set right. Weird. Okay. I also noticed I didn't have my screen on. Okay. Dummy. Uh, that's embarrassing. I was on vlog that whole time. Sorry about that, guys. So, <laughs> this, is, this is what I've been fiddling with while I've been talking. <laughs> this is the Under Armour for the Giver Armour. Or the Giver Inspired Armour. I keep calling it. It's a Titan Armour. So, this, this is what is underneath all the all the pieces right and if you notice i fixed this so that his his um the armor goes up underneath now so i just i just exported this out um yeah, so we're going to color this. I'm going to texture this. And this is going to be interesting because I'm going to try using some different techniques to try to get inside some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing now. Um, yeah, how's that mic mutant thing working, guys? Is it working really good? Where my, I, I have it set up now with a compression, compression where when I'm talking, the music lowers okay so this is substance we're gonna go and we're gonna pull I need uh, nail. Yeah, the male, the female version of this uh, Titan armor is going to be fun to make. Okay, so do bake. You know, 4K. Um, I think for this first try. I'm just going to leave everything like this and just see if it works. Yeah. That, okay. Good, 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 good. Because I noticed when I was watching my other streams that when I was talking, the music most of the time would drown me out. So I saw another streamer doing this and I looked it up and I thought, oh, this is a great, this is awesome. So, Kat, what do you think about the, the auctions and uh, raffle idea? Oh, look at that. It worked first time. Except the ears are a little weird, but that's okay. We don't need the ears. <laughs> Groovy. It worked. Well, it could be for costume pieces, custom stuff for people, like one piece. The raffle would be for one piece. So like a helmet, a, a, a piece for the face, um, a, a piece of clothing, like one piece they raffle for. And then maybe for auctions, um, I could do something more complex. I don't know. But raffles 
sound like a really idea. Because then, because you buy each ticket, I can have, say, be worth 10 polygons, and then you can buy up to 10 tickets. So that gives you 10 chances to win, right? It's a way for people to gamble their, 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 um, their polygon or their, their, their loyalty points, but it's not really real money, right? I think it's a great idea and it it makes people um you have to be lurking in order to earn them or if you're active you get i have it set right now at five per hour and then you get eight per hour if you're active so like for instance you've been chatting so you would probably get eight for this hour instead of five So what did you think of the new intro? Oh, you didn't see it. You came in after. I could probably show it to you if you want to see it. I think I sent you the link to it, but that, that wasn't... Um, shoot. That wasn't the final version. The version that I... Uh, finished has I put stream starting because another friend of mine said I should um, that's the only thing he didn't like about it so I just put uh, stream starting I gotta get a new soundtrack. As much as I love this music, it's getting to be a little monotonous. It's funny thing is, when I play video games, I normally turn the music off. Yeah, this tablet works really good when I don't have to use pressure.
Hey, Mavis. Uh, dude, Substance has so many secrets. It's it's very much like Adobe or uh, like a Photoshop. Um, you can find literally three different of oh, wow, twelve different ways to do the same thing. It's it's fantastic. some kind of a different brush for that. Thanks for joining the stream, buddy. I appreciate that. See, now I'm, like I was just saying, I changed my streaming schedule. I'm going to start streaming uh, from 8 till 11 uh, because I found that 7, I'm, I'm uh, that's too early. I might even go from 9 till 12. We'll see. trying to add a screenshot of my buddy's artwork and it kept overlapping other objects. I'm not quite understanding what you mean. You're probably going to have to show me what you mean. Oh, right, 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 right. Right. I I see what you mean now. Yeah. This is going to be, this is going to add some interest to this, uh, doesn't like, it's not like a straight cut off line, you know? Looks good. All right, so um, I'll have to check it out when I get off my stream. For sure.
So my hope is by using this, this is the first time I've tried this. Um, I saw some patterns. I'm not sure if it was. Um, why am I brain farting? Uh, Charles. I think he made some patterns where he used gradients uh, for some of the colors for the mats. And I thought, you know what? I want to try just doing some, some gradient here and see how this looks. Because like I said, this is, this is an Under Armour. This is... Yeah, it's for. Yeah, this is my first time trying to use gradients. I want to see what happens. <laughs> I've never tried a gradient in the Avatar Builder, so I want to see what happens. So, um, with this armor, players will be able to use this armor without with this Under Armour as itself, right? So it has to be, it has to be a character or a piece onto itself, right? So I want to see what this is going to look like. Because I want the white to be able to show through because that's going to be our main color, right? I mean, this is supposed to be organic, so. There's a foot in my way. Okay, so. It doesn't look like much now, but I think once we get it into the character generator, we're going to see. All this, um. And if it looks like crap, it looks like crap. I'll do it over. I mean, it's it's not like... Like, all this stuff, it looks like veins, right? And I want it to... I want it to look like veins in the character generator. I want you to be able to add a material to it and then add a material to the, to the white layer underneath. But I'm using the dirt brush because I want it to be more like a gradient. I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be solid.
and uh, if I, you know, if I see that I can make a pattern like this, for instance, I'll just throw that in too. But my goal is to try to follow as, as much of these lines as I can to give it that really nice organic look. These look, this look here looks like a vein, right? I'm curious to see how this is going to look once we get some mats on it. I knew this part was going to be tedious, but it's, it's so going to be worth it if it looks even remotely like I'm hoping it will. The other idea I had about the whole polygon um, loyalty point thing was I was thinking like days like where I'm st actually streaming, like say we do a big update for the game and I'm actually streaming that, I can like double or even triple the carrots so that whoever's watching that stream is going to get lots and lots of carrots was the other idea I had. Just more incentive for people to watch the streams because I give a lot of information out on the streams about art, about the game. I mean, I want this channel to be a teaching channel. Because I have so much stuff that I want that I want to pass on, you know? Sorry if it looks like I'm squinting when I read my trend. I have my glasses on, I can't. so curious to see how this is going to look. I may have to end up going in and darkening these lines because the gradient might not look right, but I said I want to try this just to see what it looks like.
Yes, I do. No reason why we can't do patterns. green Not everywhere, but just some spots. Something they got for alphas. Something that's somewhat organic, but still has like a bio feel to it. Or it's mechanical, but still has a bio feel to it. And then what I can do is... There's not enough blue in that. Okay. 
I think I know what to do here. I need to go a hard brush. That's what my problem is. That's why that one brush wasn't working. Oh my goodness, I got so many. Where'd you go? There we go. That's what I want. Just a little bit of blue, you know? Because this stuff will be hidden. You're not going to see it. So, unless you have it like this. All right. I'm very anxious to see what this is going to look like. So, let's get this exported out and... Nice to see so many people watching. Thank you so much for lurking and watching. All right. So we're going to save. And then we're going to... Why do I keep putting my glasses away? I'm so dumb. Okay. There we go. Export. Save that because I want to turn these off. glitch yeah um yeah i have uh, what was my last count i think i'm at three terabytes just for missing worlds folder it's it's ridiculous and the amount of files it takes like each piece requires a low poly, a high poly, three sets of textures, or three texture set maps for each piece. And then there's a substance file, there's a ZBrush file, there's most likely a cinema file, 
<laughs> yeah, I've got files for days. I'm going to need a new hard drive soon, come to think of it, because mine's getting full. I blame the Cabot. Yep. Yep, I blame him too. <laughs> Titan armor. I'm just going to call this Titan under armor. Male. C-O. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like. I hope this turns out as good as I think it's going to look. I still have to fix the helmet because his ears are sticking out. Okay, so uh, doing underarm or underarm, <laughs> under armor in the character generator is a little bit tricky. Um, and we'll see if I can figure this out on stream oh, my gosh it's hot in this basement tonight it's supposed to be cooler in a basement what's going on it's probably from all the lights I got on So yeah, I think my theory about streaming later because more people are available to watch. I'm looking at my view counter right now and I'm I think my theory was correct. Okay. So we don't need that one. So, okay. So male textures spandex I'm going to do a folder and I'm going to call it Titan Under Armour. Now here, here's the Hero 1 spandex and I did the same thing for it. So we're going to do this. We're going to grab these and we're going to drop them in here. All right. And then think cut off masks uh, I think I just dropped them in here just throw it in there for now um, No, it's not in here. I know it's not in here. It's under data. That's right. Okay, so... Um, male top cutoffs. Then male bottom cutoffs. Okay. So this is top. So here's where my heart under armor was. Okay. So I'm going to add a new one. Two, and we're going to call this Titan Under Armor. And then 
This is my... Helmet. Under armor. I need that. And I need the normal. Same with this one. Trying to remember. Okay, so. Have it in textures. I don't think I have to put it in here, do I? It's been a while since I've added an Under Armour, so it's going to take me a couple seconds to figure this out. A little, uh, yeah, about an hour, fifty-eight minutes, according to my clock. Um. With this new schedule, streaming at night, I'm going to try to go for the full three hours. I'm going to try to break it, say, half hour. I mean, overall, I don't know. As long as there's interest, I might stream for the f stream for another hour. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, Okay. So I streamed a little bit of what, like a few years ago, and I streamed for like three or four months, and then I quit. Because our living situation changed where I didn't have access to a quiet spot anymore. And then we moved from south, down down south, uh, London, Ontario area. And we recently moved to where we are now, which is way up north. We're talking like Trans-Canada, uh, Timmins area. Um, and for the first five months of us living here I, my office was upstairs and then I had the bright idea well why don't I move my stuff downstairs into the basement and start streaming again so I've been doing it for almost a month now but um, overall I would say I've altogether about a year worth of, week, worth of streaming but I've never streamed consistently. That's why I'm trying to do it consistent this time. I want to have a schedule and, and you know, be able to do it full time. Please. I'm looking for any info, dude. off your view counter okay you mean in the stream itself yeah i can do that um cory i think that's how you spell spell your name um or how you pronounce your name yes it is incredibly beautiful up here what is it march 23rd we still have four to feet of snow on the ground <laughs> It's stupid how much snow we have or still. There's still people snowmobiling up here. All right. Well, in that case, why don't we do this? Uh, where did I put it? 
Here you go. Gandhi. No more stream counter. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous up here. The, the, um, our water that we drink actually comes from the river that is literally about a quarter mile that way. It goes through a little pump station. They add a, a few chemicals, but it's the best tasting water I've, I've had in my entire life. It's insane how good it tastes. And the air up here almost tastes sweet. We went out, we went for a walk just now. And even though it's partially cloudy, you can still see stars as if it was pitch black out. Like the amount of, I've never seen this many stars. There is no pollution up here. Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous up here. I have a quad. I have a, um, I have a Yamaha Raptor 700R. And it's, I just got it in September. And I have barely been able to ride it because the snow came right up pretty much right after I got it. The thing is a beast and I cannot wait to get out there and ride when the snow is gone. It is stupid fast. Like you literally have to hang on. <laughs> it's so, it's ridiculously fast. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Do do okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You know what? I think I'm gonna test this to see if it's gonna work because I can't remember. I think there's one other thing I need to do to get this to work in the generator, and I can't remember what it is. All right. So we're gonna load. Here. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's the hard under. Yeah, it's, it's missing from somewhere. It's been so long, like I said, since I've added armor. It's costume data. I've got it showing up in the in the in the list now at least. Shoulder is torso equation. No, it's not in there. Is the nail cut off. Is it here maybe? Yeah. I think it needs to be in here too. So we'll do in there yeah it is the mask okay so this that goes there and this goes here okay because I knew I knew there was a, a, a place where I had to put the mask and I couldn't find it Let's try this again. There we 
we go. There should be, there we go, just for details. Okay, and then we'll go to the bottom and we should do the same thing. There we go, full Titan armor. Now, what I can do, uh, I need to stop this for a sec because I need to go in, not in head I think it's in head replacement there it is I need to take that off There we go. Yeah. That looks so good. Darn. All right. So we can change this to. Oh, dude. All right. Uh, like a bull's leather do a like a leather crocodile he gets a bit of a shine this is the fun part guys this is where I get to go through and just I can't remember what I put on the helmet that looks so good what I put on the helmet Leather, fine. Okay, good. So, what if I change this to leather old to match? Yeah, that's cool. See how his ears poke through? Um, wonder if I can. Oh, oh, oh. Aha! Can hide them. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, this looks good. Oh, this looks so good. Okay. Um, so, I really like the black. Let's try something else with that green. Like, look at how good that looks. I really like the black, though. Um... We could do so much cool stuff with this. We could do. Ooh, that looks good. We could do stuff that gives it height. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, I can't remember what color that is. Um. Synthetic. I need to look at the helmet again. What did I do for this? Just flat white, which was weird. Okay, and then the blue do like a little bit of glow oh, that looks so good <laughs> taco Tuesday absolutely 
That's what I was thinking, right? Glitch, like this this is just the under armor, right? For the have you seen the Giver armor that I'm working on? I don't think you have. This is what this is just the under armor. Check this out. This is what it's going to be. I've seen it. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, dude. There's more. Check this out. This is literally just the under armor that I'm working on. There you go. Pretty epic. That's my Giver inspired armor. Yep. Once I get in and, and like, I've really been learning, I'm trying to experiment with my, um, with texturing because we're kind of limited with how many colors we have. So I have to be creative, but like what I just did with this thing, um, like I'm sure that I can, and this is going underneath that armor. So crazy, man. Yeah. It's, it's definitely one of my better, uh, my better costume set. Anyway, so yeah, that looks pretty sick. I'm wondering if I should do the green to match. There we go. That's better. Dude, that looks good. <laughs> that looks so good. All right, let's do the bottoms. So I still have to make them boots, but wow. That looks insane. That came out really good. That's way better than I expected it to be. That's a character right there, guys. That, I mean, you don't even have to put the armor on them. That's, that's a character right there. <laughs> I can't remember. 
caliber weapon. This one was black cast iron. No, I'm saying that a lot. My goodness. That looks way better than I expected. There's my screenshot for the... Uh, for the thumbnail for the stream. I mean, that's very close to a Venom costume. Like, that's really close. I could change the helmet up a little bit, and you could make a Venom. Very close to a Venom. Which I might do. I think I'm also going to make some accessories for this guy. I think I'm going to make some kind of... um. um I can't remember what it's called. The, the thing that comes up, like that thing on his head. Spiral? Whatever it's called. Yeah, that's um, crazy how good that looks. And how I, when I laid the, like the color out right here, how you can see, you can still see the black underneath. So it's, 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 looks more realistic. Isn't that insane glitch to think about? Like potentially hundreds of thousands of people could be using this stuff. Like. When I think about that, it, it literally blows my mind. That's why I love my job. And that's why, you know. Um, Glitch, while you're here, I'll say this again because I get people coming in and out of the stream constantly. So it's it's good to repeat these things. I have turned on loyalty points for my channel. So... The longer you're in the stream, the more loyalty points you collect. And those loyalty points are going to allow you, I'm going to set up raffles and auctions. And you're going to be able to buy tickets for raffles and for auctions for a chance to have me build you a personalized piece of costume for the game. Everybody will have access to it, but it will be your creation. And that's something that I'll be doing very shortly. <laughs> I know, isn't that, isn't that freaking cool? Yeah. So please, anybody that's in this, anybody that's in this stream, please spread the news. Tell everybody about this stream. Get as many people in here as you can. Um, there really isn't any limit on how many I can make either. So as soon as I'm done one, I'll do another raffle and the next person will get a chance to, to do one. You know, basically I think the way I'm going to do it is, um, it's going to be 10, 10 polygons. That's what I call my currency, 10 polygons per ticket and you're allowed 10 tickets. So that's 10 chances to, for, for a chance to uh, to be able to get your own costume piece. And I'm going to use these raffles and auctions for other things too. It's just not this stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I've also turned on all the games too, if you guys want to play those in chat. But I need... Got to get the word out because once, once we get playable, which is going to be soon, once we get a playable game or version of the game. I'm going to be streaming it here, guys. So, and most likely, I'll get access to it before everybody else. So there might be a chance that I might be able to preview it 
before everybody else gets it. So sneak peeks and stuff. So this is the channel. This is the place to be if you want to know more about the game. This is the this is it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this really turned out well. Um <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, while you're here, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll show some of these, the more bigger s sets that I've made because I don't know how many people are new to the stream. And I'm going to be uploading this to my YouTube channel as well. So it's good to show this stuff every once in a while so people can see it. But um, the heart armor is done. and is ready to go into the game. That's another big set that was that I did and got done. And there'll be different variations of this armor and they'll have different um, attachments and stuff. But yeah, that one finally got done. We found, we got ourselves a new rigger, so we were able to uh, get some stuff done. Um, not sure if you've seen the hero. I call them hero ones. They're probably they're probably gonna get re uh, renamed. But this is hero one female. Uh, it's basically my versions. Sure, Cabot. Um, this is basically my if if I were to make a super girl and a superman, this would be my version of them. I took all the little pieces I like from all the different ones. But this is the um, female version. And then, then there's the male version. And these are all done. They're all ready to go in to the character generator, the live version. Um, what else here? Uh, light combat armor. I'm still working on that. I've got some pieces done. Uh, not much to show. Oh, Paragons. Memories done. These are the main characters of City of Titans, as you know. Isn't that amazing, though? Like The, the material system that we've developed is insane. Um, so that's... And then there's... This is the big one. This one had, had, everybody had a bird about this one. Here's Anthem. I may redo her arm later, but for right now, let's call this first gen. Like she'll probably, as the game progresses and stories and the game progress, she'll probably get an upgrade to her arm and I'll probably have to make another arm. But this was my first attempt at it. And it, it came out pretty good. Um, arts, female, this was the first character to have a skirt, and as you can see, a backpack. So, every single piece you see here, guys, you'll be able to put on whatever characters you want. They aren't relegated to these sets. These are pieces that you will be able to put on any character. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, eh? Um, and then there's a male version of her. He's got a backpack too. And there's a Nox. This was the first hoodie I made. It turned out pretty good. And there is a male version of that one too. These are all NPCs. They have some props that they're going to have as well uh, eventually, but um, I just haven't made them yet. I'm working, I'm, I'm concentrating on the costume pieces right now. All the props, I, we, I'll get to those once we get caught up. 
Um, like I think he has. I can't remember. I know one of them has like a thing for stencils. I think that was the arts. The arts have a, things for to hold stencils. Um, let's see what else do we got here? Brain bowl is it even working? Nope. <laughs> um, the cat suit. I think I've showed that. That's 100%. Other than the hood and this mask, the whole body, minus the boots, but the under armor was all done in Substance Painter. No modeling at all. Can't show those yet. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, this guy. His floating head. We're gonna we need to get our new rig for him, but this is gonna be cool. Yes, your character will be a be a flying saucer if you want him to be. When we say make anyone, we mean it. And then there's this fantasy dress that I were that I did. Um keep in mind this is like the first level. Um, I can't remember who I had slotted to do next. Hang on a second. I need to look. Uh, who did I have next? I think Particle was next. I think I started working on Particle. These are the these are the concept arts here. So I think Particle's the guy on the end. This guy here. So I've done her and her. I got pretty darn close to the concept art, didn't I? Well, guys, we're hitting that half hour, an hour and a half mark. Um, so I think we're going to call it for tonight. You guys rock, and I very much appreciate every single person who is watching this stream right now. If you have not yet, please hit the follow button. And uh, if you look down in my description of my Twitch, uh, my YouTube's down there as well. So please go and subscribe to that because I upload these videos there once I edit them. You guys rock. Much, much love. Yes, to all of you. Um, and again, share, 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 share. Tell everybody about this stream, because this is a teaching stream as well. I try to explain the process and explain everything I'm doing as I'm doing it, so that if any inspiring artists are watching, they can learn the processes of game design. Right. This is important because we are actively looking for recruits for our team as well. That's the other thing. So I want to use this stream as a way to help bring in recruits. Um, you know, if you think you have any any skills that we can use in, in graphic design or 3D modeling or rigging or anything like that, please hop on our Discord and contact one of the one of the higher ups. Uh, Rhett Cabot's probably the one to talk to. He's the team lead, and he would be very happy to talk to you about whether you could help us or not. We're 100% volunteer right now, but that's hoping to change very soon. But anyway. Thank you for that awesome advice, Mavis. I appreciate that, and I have hid my viewer. It's not there anymore. I can see how many people are viewing up in the corner, but I don't even really, I really ignore it at this point. Thank you. I hope so. I mean, I think I'm providing a good service, right? I'm not just, I mean, I'm trying to give people value for their time is the way I look at it. You're spending the time with me. 
I need to give you something in return for that, right? And if I can teach you something, even one or two things that you didn't know in an hour and a half, it's worth it to me. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized because you got to remember, I put these up on YouTube, right? So I got to be careful about my language. I got to be careful what I show. Uh, well, I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate you watching every time. Wow, and thank you so much for the subscription. That is fantastic. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted sub. Cabot will very much enjoy that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, welcome to the class. <laughs> That's cool. You know what? Because you guys have been so awesome, I'll give you a cookie. Here's your cookie. find it. There it is. There you go. You all get 10, 10 polygons for being such a great audience tonight. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I super duper appreciate it. And I will look into getting these um, auctions and stuff going so that you guys can start bidding on parts. Um, for getting your pieces made. I, I don't think I'm going to make it very expensive for the tickets. Like I said, I think I'm going to make it probably 10, 10 a ticket. And then you can maybe have up to 10 tickets at a time. And then the program I'm going to use basically adds everybody into the list. And then I hit a timer after a minute and a half or whatever. I hit choose a winner and it gives me a, a winner out of all those people that bought tickets. And then that person can get into a DM with me and tell me what they want. It's going to be awesome. And that's not the only thing I have planned. I have lots of other things planned for, for raffles and stuff. Oh, having three monitors is... There we go. So thanks again, guys. You guys rock. And uh, I will see you on Sunday. I'll be streaming twice on Sunday. So watch out for it, okay? Love you guys. And be good. And we will see you next time. May the hue be with you. We will see you on Sunday. Bye for now. <laughs>